Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be looking at Boyle's Law. So Boyle's Law is associated with gases and uh, Boyle's Law states that the pressure and the volume is equal to some constant k and that k constant remains constant regardless of whether you change the pressure or the volume. So what we can say is that if we have some initial pressure p1 and some initial volume v1 and we change one of those values then we're going to end up with V2 and P2, which are the same as a product of P1 and V1. So constant K, which is a product of pressure and volume, remains the same. So we can infer from this an increase in pressure means a decrease in volume and vice versa, which is very important in terms of gas laws. And it's something which uh, naturally makes sense as well. The quantities, volume, and pressure are hence inversely proportional, which is a very key way of phrasing the situation. And we can have a practice question now. So we have a gas with 3.0 atm, which is atmospheres, the uh, unit of measure for pressure. pressure. And uh, we have a volume of 10.0 litres. So if we change that volume to 2.0, zero liters, then we need to determine the new pressure. So what we have here is we have a gas with pressure of 3.0, so we can write that in, so of course we know it's PV equals K, and we're multiplying it by 10 because that's the volume. So we know that that is going to be equal to 30, don't we, from the question, because it's simply 3 times 10, and because these are both SI units here, we have 3.0 and 10.0 making 30. So now what we know is that we have 2.0 and some new pressure, pressure 2, equaling 30 as well. So what we do is we find pressure 2, which is the new pressure, and we move the 2.0 onto the other side because it's in the numerator on the left hand side, it's going to be in the denominator on the right hand side, and as a result, we get the new pressure as equaling 15.0 atm. And of course, we could always use a calculator here if it gets a little complex, because of course these problems aren't going to necessarily have all the good values. What I have here is the G1 graphics calculator by uh, Graphite. Uh, it's available on the App Store for 99 cents. It's really good because you can graph things. You can just do quick arithmetic on your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod. Um, in this video, I didn't necessarily need to use it, but it works really well for actually uh, sorting that out. So thank you for watching this video on Boyle's Law. Hopefully that provides some insight into how to do it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, just one of the ideal gas laws. Thank you.